Okay, in number one, it says that the diagram below triangle ABC has medians AD, BE, and CF, which intersect at G. So that means G is called the centroid of the triangle. The centroid is the point where all three medians meet. Now if C to F is 27, so that means this whole length is 27, what is the length of GC. Remember, the centroid divides the median into a ratio that's 1 to 2. So you take 1x and 2x, add them together, set it equal to the whole. So some of the parts equals the whole. We get 3x equals 27, divided by 3, and x is 9. To find the length of GC, this segment here, we would do 2 times 9, which is 18. So length GC is 18. Just to check, 1x would be 9, and is 9 plus 18, 27, it is. Number 2 is a transformation question. So I'd be sure to copy all your transformation rules onto your reference sheet for your test. And it's a composition. It says if the coordinates of C are negative 2, negative 5, what is the image under the composition of a reflection in the x-axis and a dilation of 3? Remember, you work right to left. So if I start with the point negative 2, negative 5, and then we're going to dilate by 3. Dilation means we're going to multiply the coordinates by 3. Negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. Negative 5 times negative 3 is a negative 15. Now I need to take that point, negative 6, negative 15, and reflect it over the x-axis. Without the rules in front of me, I'm going to sketch an x and y axes. Negative 6, negative so I go left, 6, down, 15 is right here. We're going to reflect it over the x-axis. So that now goes over here. And I'm still going to be left 6. I'm just going to be, instead of down 15, up 15. So the answer is negative 6, 15. And last, if the measures in degrees of the three angles of a triangle are given algebraically, we're going to classify the triangle by the side lengths and the angle measures. Well, the angles of a triangle, the sum equals 180. So we're going to start by taking 2x, x minus 3, and 4x plus 22, adding it up and setting it equal to 180. Combine your like terms, we have 4x, 5x, 6, 7x, a negative 3, and a positive 22 is 18, equals 180. Subtract the 18, and we have 7x equals 161, divide by 7, and x is 23. Now I'm going to find 2x, which would be 2 times 23 is 46. And then x minus 3 would be 23 minus 3, 20. And then last, 4x plus 22, I'm going to do 4 times 23 plus 22, and we get 114. So my angle measures are 46 degrees. 20 degrees and 114 degrees. Let's start by classifying according to side lengths. Because all angles are different, all sides must be different. So that's a scalene triangle. And by angles, because we have one angle that's greater than 90, this would be an obtuse triangle. So it's scalene and obtuse. Now moving into the notes. So today we're going to look at some angles in the circle. And the first theorem says that if two secants or chords intersect in the interior, so that means the point where they meet is in the inside of the circle, 
then the angle that's formed is half the sum of the intercepted arcs. Well, let's trace these chords. Okay, we have chord AB, chord CD, and we're going to look at the measure of angle 1. If you trace the angle 1, it intersects the circle at A and D, which goes along with this arc. So I'm going to call that arc X. Now because it's vertical angle pair over here, okay, it's congruent, this angle is congruent to this angle, tracing out here, that angle intercepts that arc, so I'm going to call that Y. The measure of angle 1, which is this angle right here, is, let's write that on the side, measure of angle 1 is half the sum of the arcs. So it would be 1 half of X plus Y. So another way to do that is to just simply add them up, divide by 2. So looking at question 1, it says to find each measure. 